Hey, what is going on guys? It is Michael Shu, your second favorite stock options trader here to give you a uh, day one. Actually, a more like day five. But we're going to start this as day one just for the accountability portion and so that we can uh, begin actually holding ourselves accountable with this $25,000 trading account challenge uh, also known as accountability challenge so what we did today uh, what happened today uh, the market was up futures were up just coming into sunday so i kind of figured that we might have a nice little day but i think i just wanted to uh, back up a little bit and say hey i did trade last week um so let's kind of talk about what i did last week i actually had a pretty rough last week uh, about four out of the six trades that I did were losers, uh, which just happens. And it just sucks that I had to start out the challenge like that. But, you know, this week kind of got back above break even and we're about 10% uh, above um, our starting point. So it's a really good, really good thing. Uh, so in that reason for that is that Tesla came along uh, live and woke up. <laughs> And it was really good for me in my in the trade that I had on, and I actually held it for about four days, uh, and over the whole entire weekend. So a lot of theta decay, probably could have had quite a bit uh, more profit on that if it would happen by Friday instead of today. Uh, but that's okay. Friday was a good day. Thursday not so much. That's actually what hurt. So let's kind of let's let's look at this. I I kind of broke them down into what trades I'm holding now and the what I, I put like a, a star indicator on how good the trade is so right now currently uh holding nvidia adobe amazon i actually had nvidia from last week along with tesla i actually got in on friday like right before the close it just looked like a strong close so i, I decided to get in it was breaking trend as well uh so i got in uh, the NVIDIA trade, I put like a four out of five stars. Adobe, end of today, uh, about four and a half out of five stars. And Amazon, a four and a half out of five stars. And that's just because uh, I don't think it's a perfect, perfect setup, but it's super close to a, a great, great setup. Uh, the only other thing that I would like along with these setups is just like another indicator to kind of get me above that edge of a what I call a perfect trade. Um, let's see, what did I write down here? Um, yeah, I already talked about holding over and let's kind of, uh, why did I get into Adobe? So I'm going to bring up a chart beside here of why I got into Adobe. Um, and it, you'll see that it had the breakout, uh, had volume behind it as well. And then on top of that, uh, the S and P futures, were up as well at the end of the day and actually at the highs which i feel is just an excellent excellent indicator of what's going to come the next day uh so i like to hold uh my shares long or my options long whenever i see a uh, good momentum in the overall market uh that means there's a lot of strength and potentially the up move for my long calls i currently have about four thousand dollars long i'll also show that here <laughs> uh, and you'll see kind of where I'm at what I'm holding and this is just a really quick video on the accountability challenge and hopefully you're learning something from it and maybe I can add on uh, like my entry points I guess it really doesn't matter it's an options trade so it's not as indicative of if it's a good trade or not kind of the entry necessarily uh, but you as far as the stock price is that is but we're just hoping for a higher move uh i'll show the trade targets as well on the graph i, I don't know them by heart uh, but i will have those posted on the graph as well so if this helps you out uh please share like send it out to your friends if you're going to know this accountability challenge enjoy the ride with me bye-bye <laughs> that's my little girl ava <laughs>